when I'm looking at an actual landscape and painting from a landscape, it's still a mystery to me. It's still new. If it's not new, I don't try. I don't do the painting. I don't. It's not interesting. But um, it's almost like the way you're holding that and using the palette knife. It's like it's like another palette you're creating. Well, no, it's just that this is small enough that I can do this. I would normally do this on a table. I just want to be able to see what I'm doing. <coughs> And now I might start playing with the uniformity of some of these colors. Like maybe, maybe I don't like that being so uniform. Maybe I like kind of like what this white did with this orange. And maybe I'm gonna see this is the part where I can start to play. Maybe I can change that relationship a little bit. Maybe I can take this other color that I made and make a starker relationship. And then let's say the top of this picture could be gray. I said I wasn't going to. So I wasn't going to use blue. Maybe I got a got a gray in here. Now see, about this time, I start looking at my palette instead of the painting. Yeah. Okay, so this is the other advice that I give, is use your palette for color composition. Because what's missing from the paint, painting is going to be confusing. But on your palette, you can see the whole thing developing. Okay, so see now, that gray you can see that the rest of it is starting to make sense now. Mm -hmm. See that? Yes. Because of that color. Mm -hmm. And this color is made from some of the other colors. And see the relationship between all of them? We mm -hmm. can make enough of that, unfortunately, we won't be able to make it. But. to finish this whole exercise. But I think that gives you a good idea of why this is more complex than it, than it seems. Okay? You see, up till now, it wasn't anything. It was just a bunch of colors put together. And what happened? Can you tell? Yeah, but why? Can you tell what happened? It got, at least for me, the gray is sunk way back. It, it turned into space. Yeah, I mean, exactly. Okay, so at a certain point, a certain combination of colors will suddenly be space instead of color. That's the point. That's what I'm always trying to do, is find out what is it that makes it space. Why is that? Now, it has to do with the value, but it has to do with this gray having a saturation and an intensity which is different from all the others. And this is the kind of thing that's hard to achieve, is finding a, 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 a gray. Notice that I'm not going to, I'm, I'm going to finish this on my own, but primary objective was to not have the same picture as these other two pictures. And you see how it's different in every way? Even though there's no subject, there's no three of them. It's none of the same colors, right? And see, even though this, this has five neutral grays in it, but this one is different. And that difference, that's something you can't remember. 
It's entirely dependent on the other colors. And, um, and it, it takes developing a relationship between these different colors on your palette. So, um, so uh, you know, they'll, they'll be, I'll probably add a little color there. All right, I just, that ended up that shape, I'll probably add something there. Like but one. then this is, if I made a, a major painting, a landscape, say, with these colors, that would be a new painting for me. I've never done a landscape with these colors in it before. And yet you can see it's a landscape, right? So that's the point. It, that's how you find something new, is by um, trying it. You, you don't start out painting a big landscape and hoping it's going to be different. You, you, that doesn't work. Um, you have to take the elements and figure out what makes it what, figure out what it says, figure out what all these colors mean. You can see that without any information about a subject whatsoever, this is a different season from this. Yeah. Absolutely, it has to be and probably a different place. So you see all that information isn't really what speaks. It's not really what conveys, um, like somebody said, the emotion. Okay, the emotion is very elusive. It's, um, it's, it's not amount of information. It's something uh, about each element on its own, the graphic element, the colors, the combination of the colors, the, um, the um, and, and especially the physical qualities of the thing that you're making. This is what modernism is all about. Formalism is what formalism is all about. The physical qualities of the thing that you're making. I can't tell you how many artists I know who fall in love with all this paint on their palette and tear their hair out when it gets on the canvas because it's gone when they do painting. And they look at the panel pa 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 and they go, but it all oh, makes sense, it's beautiful, and then this doesn't. Why? Because of confusing different objectives together on the canvas. And, and you, you can't control everything once. Yeah. So, uh, How did you get the high heel shoe in there? <laughs> the high heel shoe. The red shoe. Yeah. Well, of course, this is what attracts people to abstraction. It's, it's suggested. Um, and and abstract. Uh, many uh, art, art people who write about art will tell you that uh, the point of abstract painting is for it to not look like anything. But that's not true at all. Um, you know, there's a, a great the. Franz Klein in the modern, that's one of their signature pieces in their collection, looks like a big hornet or bug or something like that. And you can't help but think that. I mean, it's not like it doesn't suggest anything to you. Which, which was conventionalism, is that it shouldn't suggest anything to you. It's abstract. But all of our images of things are all encoded in abstractions. So the idea that abstraction and realism should be uh, uh, separated from each other, I don't, I don't agree with that at all. I think they're two sides of the same coin. And, um, and that's kind of part of what I'm getting at. So I think it's really time for wine. <laughs> <laughs>